Happy Tears Day. It's time to draw some conclusions about the week, including Siegerblot. So it has been quite a busy week. Um, bank holiday weekend, etc, etc, etc. I think I chose wisely with the runes I did, just for seasonal enterprise or seasonal uh, passing. Um, and sort of the, the concept of reciprocity being really important. Um, Seeger Block has been more on my mind this year as as a heathen than the previous years. I think in all honesty just because I'm becoming more aware of it and other aspects of my, my practice sort of Becoming or sitting into a comfortable space and not being like a, a rabbit in headlights with sort of an overload of information. It's been a good weekend or a good week, really. Um, I did some personal practice. We went to see Baum play live at Islington Assembly Hall, which I think really galvanised a period of celebration, of victory celebration, as well as a gathering of um, heathens that came, to come to, came together in Canterbury to, you know, have a drink and talk. Um, we didn't necessarily talk too much about heathenry. Um, it was more about jo a joyous occasion and enjoying the company of others. Which in many ways really is a true victory. It really is important. A social aspect in life as social creatures, as tribal creatures celebrating and holding in your heart what celebration is is really important um it was interesting yesterday driving home from dover it's Feeling an attunement with nature can also offer um, signs of celebration or, or victory. While the weather wasn't great in terms of, you know, human <laughs> uh, interaction, um, nature, as always, in Equal measures can be terrifying, uncomfortable, but also beautiful. And uh, I'm hoping that my wife captured some of the the beauty of the sky that we saw driving home from Dover. Um, she took many photos. Um, just because of the way you can understand how... It is easy to be in awe of sooner shining through grey clouds and you see the the different layers of clouds reflecting the sunlight. Um, excuse me, I'm getting to sneeze. <laughs> it, it's easy to look a great formation of clouds and to see mountains or a representation of mountains and another world and it is another world even if it's you know 
untouched by us or it's something we can only view or you know a few people might get to see on an airplane flight it allows you to believe and it fires the imagination the one thing we did talk about driving home was something that's been on my mind for during the course of this past week and it's you obviously see people mashing the connections together between Easter and Aostola I haven't really to date other than until I got home yesterday when something appeared see any mentions of the proximity of Easter to Siegerblatt. And, I, and it's just that I'm, I'm a firm believer that, you know, celebrate this time of the year or celebrate what you need to celebrate however you choose to celebrate. It's, we all walk our own paths. Um, and obviously when you can come together, that's great. I don't feel the need to, you know, harp on or battle the, the cause for, you know, Christianity took this from us, these dates or these holidays from us or, or maybe they've been just sort of all chucked into a pot and stirred around. But it did allow me the, pos the, the, the theory, if you like, that if Siegerbot is victory... And, you know, an ancient pagan celebration set at a time that fluctuates about this time of year in the same way that Easter does. It's You can also look at a, a variation of that being that Jesus has his victory, the victory. The return after he dies from the crucifixion is very much can be viewed as a victory, and it's almost like the, that this time of year there is a recognition towards victory, beating uh, an opponent or having a win. Um, and I'm not saying that Christianity copied this or there's any real hard evidence because I've not seen any yet but then I haven't really gone down that rabbit hole of you know approximation and proximity between the two it's just something that has struck me as as a a line of thinking um It's interesting as well, other things that have just occurred over the past few weeks leading up to this that let you sort of consider what are victories and what are defeats and if there's any need for defeats. Um, I think it's more a case of something I'll discuss in another video in the next week or so once I've finished sort of... Uh, bubbling away thinking about it is sort of the power of sort of critique and how we as human beings respond to criticism or truth or or what is not truth um, but that's a complex subject for another video really I just want to round off before I ramble on too long about sort of Seeger block and it's been it has been a great week uh, I, I'm really positive I feel a, a flow of positivity um, and I look forward to sort of seeing what happens in the next few months um, as a final thing I think I'm the same gathering at the unicorn pub in canterbury we had a good time and it was great to sort of 
have the various conversations we had, some of which were probably not fit for um, ordinary... Uh, Let's just say they probably should have had a watershed. <laughs> uh, as ever, really, it's just that sort of, it was great to share time with the people that came together, which is what I think is really important in heathenry. Um, people. And great sort of coming together without any sort of uh, need to you know trump one another but that's going to be it thank you if you've listened um, it's always great to meet people and how was your Seeger block feel free to comment and uh, I'll see you tomorrow for new room day cheers goodbye